Right, I'm joined here with Henry. Um, what did you make of that performance today, mate? Disgraceful, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I just thought we were poor. And once again, it was uh, that decision from Alex Neil to play Stephen Whitaker centre mid. I just didn't understand it at all. You know, we had Conor McGrandles sitting there on the bench. Yeah, Whitaker's probably a better player than McGrandles, but he is a centre mid. Or play Wes Houlihan there. But it looks like it, the Wes Houlihan we saw under Chris Hewton may be coming back with Alex Neal. What did you make of, obviously your mate mentioned there about um, Mike Phelan leaving us, reacting slowly to managerial sort of changes. Would you, do you think that performance had an influence of Mike Phelan leaving? Yeah, as I said, I'd have given Phelan the manager's job just until the end of the season. And uh, I just think it's bizarre. I, I think we all know Phelan wants to be a manager and I think it's a bit of a stab in the back that he didn't get the job and I blame David McNally for that. I just don't like him. So would you say all of this is down to David McNally then? Uh, not necessarily all of it but he, has, he plays a great part in uh, Norwich's decline. I think with relegation as well and people forget in the summer he did bring in Joe Royal and he left for about after two weeks yeah, yeah. so that's why I just think it's bizarre and they're running as well this is the second time he's brought in an inexperienced manager yeah. so finally do you think we're going up do you still have any optimism I think we would have done under feeling okay. or maybe uh, after maybe with Adams and Phelan still but I'm going to get hate for saying this I think we've lost the derby as well yeah. The reason I say that is because Neil Adams, he's Norwich through and through. He beat Ipswich at Portman Road and he, he knew what it was going to take. Whereas this Alex Neil, he probably hasn't even heard of Ipswich before. So, cheers mate. Thanks very much.